Okay, this is a really quick uh, demonstration on how you can use Google Slides to create DXF files like this, which can then be laser cut or laser engraved. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna go to my Google account and create a new blank slide. Just give it a second to load up. So when we're using it, um, we can use the shape tool, we can use the text tool, uh, to create our design. Um, so I'm going to do two examples. I'm going to do a rounded rectangle first of all, just give it a bit more of a curve. Um, and then I'm going to do one that's a combination of more than one shape. So I'm going to put a circle, hold shift to get a perfect circle. And then I'm also going to use, it doesn't really matter for this example, I'll go with another rounded rectangle. Uh, go like that. Slide that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got two shapes overlapping, and in this situation here, we've got one shape. Um, we can also add some text. So using the text tool, if, you, if this was a keyring, for example, you could show students how to use text. Choose a nice font. Write whatever they like. And reposition that a wee bit. Um, again, if it was a, if it was a keyring we're doing, you might want to add a, a circle here. Okay. Um, last thing I'll put in there is, is a, a PNG file. So I'm just going to search for black and white PNG. And the best images are ones that are um, almost like a silhouette shape, like this one here, or this one here. There's a little bit of white in there, but that wouldn't matter. Um, basically anything that's mostly black and white will work. This looks good, so I'm just going to view the image, get it large, and copy the image onto my blank presentation. Copy and paste. I'll put it on this one over here. In fact, yeah, stick it there. Maybe shrink it down slightly. Okay, so uh, in this example I've got a combination of shapes. I've got a PNG image, I've got some text, um, and I'm just gonna give it a name now, laser cut. Um, and basically what you do once you've created your file is we use a website to convert the file and download it. Um, the website is called Convertio, you don't need an account, it's, it's free to use and you can use it and convert as many files as you like. Um, and there's different ways you can get the files onto Convertio. You can upload them from your computer. You can simply drag and drop them onto this bar here. Um, you can get them from a Dropbox account or from your Google Drive, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, or indeed a link, but the link option is sometimes a bit dodgy. If we click on Google Drive, the most recent file should be at the top, which is the one that I've just been working on. So I'm gonna select it and from the format options, as you can see, there's quite a lot here. I can convert this um, <clears throat> into various different formats, uh, but the one I want to use is DXF so that I can open it with my laser cutter software or Adobe Illustrator or Coral Draw or whatever you use. And then I'm gonna click convert, which usually takes a few seconds. Uh, and once it's converted, it should appear here. And like, yeah, green option, ready for download, which you then click. And as you can see, the file has downloaded to my hard drive and what I'll do now is just open the file using Adobe Illustrator just to show you what that looks like. Okay, I think that's it. I'm just going to zoom out. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, it's converted everything into single lines, which is ideal for using a laser. Um, the shape tool, because of the, the, the weight of the line, the thickness of the line, it's it's given me two paths here. So it's just a case of deleting one of them, the one that you don't want. And the good thing about that is if we look at the combination of shapes here, because it's given us these two paths, um, it's possible to create uh, an outline shape. So if I delete, for example, this inner path here and this inner path, it gives me the, the overall outline, which is sometimes really useful if you're if you want to laser cut various shapes. Uh, the frog as well as you can see it's nice and smooth um, it's done a really good job of that and that is ready for exporting and 
cutting. Um, the only thing it doesn't do is uh, export things to scale. Uh, it's not ever going to be ideal for accurate cuts or things that need to be an exact size. Um, but usually once you have created the file, you can use um, your, your laser cutting package to to convert it into the, the size that you want. And so, so for example, I'm using Illustrator right now. Uh, you can scale it down um, or uh, we use the, the laser scripts uh, machine and it's got the laser script 5.3 software. So I would use that to create these the size that I want and then go ahead and set the machine to, to engrave or cut. And that's it.